Hey again, it's Remy from Random Street Medic. I apologize for not getting another video out when uh, someone made a request for it. Um, there was an incident that happened this past week in Rhode Island. I was at a protest, and I know some of you saw my video and saw my article that I posted out about it, uh, where a truck struck a bunch of protesters and a lot of people got pepper sprayed. Uh, the pepper spray thing was actually some, something that someone requested last week, so we're gonna talk about that today. Uh, now, first of all, pepper spray is a capsaicin-derived um, spray or tear gas. Uh, Mace is kind of in the same ballpark. And what these are is they're irritating agents, inflammatory agents, and lacrimatory agents. And what lacrimatory agents are is they just make you tear a lot. Uh, lacrimatory comes from lacrimal, lacrimal glands, tear glands. Um, the big thing about this is part of it is going to be emotional care. Uh, just reassuring that um, despite the fact that this is painful, that it eventually comes to an end and that it will eventually get better. So it's a lot of support. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to flush a lot of the oil away because this is an oil-based item. Usually it's an oil-based item if it's not a powder. Uh, you can do this with something called liquid antacid water, which unfortunately I do not have with me today. And what you're going to do with liquid antacid water is you're going to take a, a bottle of regular Maalox and you're going to mix it in a 50-50 mix with a squirt bottle of water and give it a good shake. And what you can do with this is if somebody's been pepper sprayed in the face, um, you can put it in their eyes, you're going to lean their head back over to the side. So if you lean your head back to the right, you're going to start from the nose and go to the right. And you're just going to flush it with copious amounts of that solution. And then you're going to do the same thing for the left side. You don't want to leave their head in a neutral position because it'll just pool up in the eyes. You want to actually tilt their head from side to side and let it wash away. So after doing that the first time with the law mixture, you want to flush away with water and then repeat, repeat that about five, six times. Um, it's going to take a lot of water, it's going to take a lot of solution to do this um, because, again, this is something that you just have to get rid of by flushing with just a lot of water. Um, what I do have with me uh, is, if you have access to it, is uh, a bag of saline, an IV administration, uh, an IV administration uh, 10 drop set, and a nasal cannula. So this is for people who uh, have access to items that you have in EMS. Uh, if you don't have access to these items, you can actually make something similar with a bottle of water and just by stabbing a hole in the top of it and using it as a squirt bottle. Now, to make an eye flush out of these pieces, what you want to do is you want to take the admin set right here. It's going to have this lure lock screw. You want to push this down and pull it out of the way. And now uh, I'm just using parts that are expired from work, so these are garbage. So. Don't bite them, don't put them in your mouth, but I'm just doing that for, for, ease of, for ease. So you're going to take this and you're going to pull this screw part back. For the nasal cannula, this part normally attaches to the oxygen. Again, this is an expired part, so it's just garbage for me. So you're gonna take this and you're going to push it as hard as you can in here till it creates a tight fit. This doesn't always work for some of these. Some of these, you might have to cut the, uh, the nasal cannula to insert this part. Um, if you do, just give it a snip with a pair of scissors or cut it with a knife and it should fit right in. Next thing, you're going to spike this bag with this spike here. There should be a tab here. You're going to pull that tab off. You're going to insert this into that part that you just pulled out. You gotta use a little bit of force to do this because otherwise it doesn't penetrate in. So there is fluid in here, and just to show, I'm going to use this here. I'm going to let this drip out onto that paper towel. So if you watch the chamber, it's flowing. And if you watch the come down through here, it's gonna start coming out of the, uh, the nasal tip of the nasal cannula. You just gotta wait for it to get there. Oh, there we go. So, where you would put this is you would put that on the bridge of someone's nose on each side while they're laying down and you would just let that go. You would really want to use a bigger amount of this, but this is just one of the things that was left in my bag that was expired. But you would just want to keep that going on their eyes. You want to use like a liter bag uh, or two or three, just depending on how badly uh, somebody's, uh, basically how bad someone's doing. Um, you're gonna have them blink, and you're gonna have them tilt their head from side to side occasionally. So just keep telling them to blink, keep telling them to stay calm. Um, that's how you pretty much take care of pepper spray. 
the other thing that you can do with uh, that law solution that I mentioned earlier is you can tell them to gargle it just in case they got some in their mouth. So this was Remy again from Random Street Medic and this was talking about pepper spray and pepper spray treatment.